In Sporty News Today, Jack Wilshire gets playful. Ron Artis challenges Jordan. Blanka Vlasic and her memories, the coach of Coventry's completely crazy idea. And Jean Toumacoun and the Khan. The young Arsenal midfielder Jack Wilshire is a huge fan of Twitter. Whenever he finds the time, he posts messages via the social networking sites. But that can sometimes land him in hot water. Mocked by fans of his arch-rival team Tottenham, which is ahead of the Gunners in the rankings, Wilshire didn't back down. He even asked the Spurs supporters to join a bet. The terms of the bet are simple. If Tottenham ends the Premier League season ahead of Arsenal, Wilshire will donate £3,000 to charity. If Arsenal ranks better than its rival, then the Spurs supporters who follow the player on Twitter will each have to give £1 to the player who will then donate the money to charity. A pretty friendly initiative considering the genuine animosity between the two clubs from the north of London. It had been a while since we last heard from Ron Artist, aka Meta World Peace. Call him what you like, the man's not set to change anytime soon. The Lakers center went ballistic on Twitter and decided to provoke Michael Jordan, the owner of the Charlotte Bobcats, by challenging him to a one-on-one -on -one game. His idea is a simple one. If he defeats the legendary number 23 of the Bulls, the lockout will end. Only Ron Artis could come up with such an idea. And to make sure the word got around, Artis upped the ante by posting a few tweets insisting that he can beat Jordan with his eyes closed or while eating a packet of chips or even a hamburger. Looks like Ron Artis is bored stiff during this lockout and that it's playing on his nerves. But defeating Jordan is just a first step for Artis, since he's also challenged Nelly to a singing competition and Usher to a dance-off to end the lockout. Dream on! Everyone is looking forward to Blanka Vlasic's performance at the London Games in 2012. The high jump champion may have the Olympics in her sights, but she hasn't forgotten her beginnings. They motivate her to continue her quest. She told Trey Sports about her very first competition in her hometown of Split in Croatia. My first competition on this stadium uh, was when I was 14 years old. And I remember that I was jumping um, in front of the empty stadium, nobody was watching. Uh, and I was picturing in my mind how it would be uh, to, to jump when the stadium is full and how excited it would be. And, uh, but of course, in that moment, I couldn't even think that it will happen someday. Uh, but it was one of my wishes, definitely, one of my goals during my career. Don't miss Up Close with Blanka Vlasic soon on Trey Sports. Officially, football started out in England, and now a man is about to revolutionize the role of British supporters. Leonard Brody, the main shareholder of Coventry City, a championship football club, wants to reassign roles. The supporters who are interested will now be able to become the coach of their team. How? Thanks to their mobile phones. The idea is simple. Supporters will, during a match, be able to send text messages to ask for a change. For example, if an hour into the match, the coach Andy Thorne receives at least 30 text messages asking him to make one player come in to replace another, you have to give in to the wishes of the supporters. And too bad if that's not what he had initially planned. In fact, his team has become a sort of reality TV. It's a real gamble. And obviously, the messages will be billed and the money raised will end up in the coffers of the club. Anyway, Coventry can hardly do worse than now. The club is at the very bottom of the championship. Oh, and we almost forgot to mention that although football has undergone a number of changes in Britain over the years, Leonard Brody is no Brit. He's Canadian. For the first time since 1994, Cameroon hasn't qualified for the Africa Cup of Nations, which will take place in Gabon and Equatorial Guinea from January 21st to February the 12th, 2012. Heartbreaking news for the midfielder of the indomitable Lions, Jean Toumacoun. The former Lyon midfielder, now with the Olympiakos in Greece, talked to Trey Sports. Two months before the competition kicks off, he still has trouble explaining this failure. T it's very, very hard for me to understand considering the amount of talented players and assets we have in this group. It's... We have... It's true that... I can't find the words to say it because... 
I think it's unacceptable because we had everything we needed to win matches to make other teams sweat, and this time it didn't work out. The words are hard to find. Looks like a bit of soul searching is in order for the indomitable Lions. In any case, now the Cameroonians have plenty of time to think things through.